Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and good news, everybody! I found another crypto media article to place into my Moon Lambo wood chipper. It's good to get my money's worth uh, on my purchase. So um, here's the headline from Crypto Newsflash: XRP to be worth one dollar and twenty-three cents by end of 2021, as some experts say it won't survive the SEC lawsuit. <sighs> Audible sigh, followed by facepalm. That was the smack you heard right there. Um, here's the deal on this. Like, so this they put together this panel, and then they're, they're like, there was a survey. There was a survey done asking all sorts of various questions, including um, expectations on XRP. And the people they asked about XRP have demonstrated that they do not know what the hell they are talking about. It's basically idiocy on display. They fundamentally do not understand why XRP is useful as a bridge currency. And they have demonstrated that they don't know the difference between payments and settlement. And, and fine, I get that the typical person doesn't know that, but they're being asked by a media outlet about this stuff, and now it's getting spit all over the internet. So it's times like these that I'm extra thankful that I have the platform that I have, uh, so that I can correct all of the nonsense. But look, before we go any further, I want to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who likes to make YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a fun hobby. That's all that's going on here, damn it. So into this train wreck of a piece that we go well it's the piece itself is just reporting so i shouldn't word it quite like that that's not precise enough the piece itself is fine it's just reporting on the nonsense that happened but the people highlighted within the piece my gosh what a train wreck of uh, like unintelligible ideas so anyway uh, analysts uh, industry leaders and chartists have all predicted bitcoin will shoot up and in the year above one hundred thousand dollars However, they are not as optimistic when it comes to XRP. A recent survey that polled some of the sector's brightest minds found that most don't expect the cryptocurrency to shoot up before the year ends. Many don't even think the cryptocurrency can survive the current lawsuit against Ripple for securities violation. And so let's pause right there already. And this is so rich to me. It's like you've had, you've had like the benefit of seeing how XRP has performed after the SEC brought the legal complaint against Ripple, you've you've had like over half a year. I mean, look, because it was filed. Think about it. It was filed December twenty second. It's almost September now. Almost September in two thousand twenty one. And so, what happened? Well, uh, as most expected, once the complaint was brought, XRP price plummeted. But uh, the people that really were venomous against Ripple and venomous against XRP said, yeah, it's not going to stop. XRP is just going to zero. It's going to fall out of the top 10. It's never coming back. It is the end of XRP. That's what these people were saying. But what actually happened? Well, eventually, after the market stopped panicking, and I don't blame them for panicking. I understand why. But once the panic stopped, after the, that news and then the, the, the halting of trading in United States exchanges, Coinbase and others... After that, XRP began moving in tandem with the rest of the market again. And so I got to ask, if that can't kill XRP, you're talking about the legal complaint and, and Coinbase and, other, you know, Bitstamp, pick your cryptocurrency exchange, if them halting it can't kill XRP, now you think that once this, this, this uh, there's a conclusion, and even if it is to the negative for Ripple and XRP, that's going to kill it? It's like these people don't understand that uh, it's it, XRP as a bridge currency is not the only use case. People functionally use XRP because it's liquid. It's on exchanges all over the planet. It's easy for them to move money around and get in and out of crypto positions. Even for that reason alone, it's not just going to go away. Because again, it's not just the code. It's not just the facet. It's blazing fast. There's this attribute that you can't code in to any cryptocurrency, which is liquidity. Where is it available? How many people are buying and selling it at any given moment or at any exchange in various regions of the planet? You can't code that in. People either do it or they don't. And that's valuable. It's, it's, it's tremendously valuable. And the vast majority of XRP trading occurs outside of the United States. So already right there, even if XRP were to never be used as a bridge currency, it doesn't make sense that XRP would just magically go away and go to zero. Doesn't, there, are two, there are other use cases. There absolutely are. Now, I'm not, th I, I don't believe that there's any reason to, like, well, I don't think that it's likely, let me word it like that. I don't think it's likely 
that Ripple is going to be so defeated by the SEC that XRP can no longer be positioned as a bridge currency by Ripple. There's so many things they could do, including incorporating in other countries, um, not using on-demand liquidity with XRP in any quarter that touches the United States, even if the worst happens. There's all sorts of workarounds. And then they could still use XRP for on-demand liquidity in other quarters. So it just doesn't make any sense to think that now, despite all of this, despite the demonstration that XRP is moving with the rest of the market, now it's suddenly going to go to zero. It, it's, it's just, it, well, it's, it's like idiocy on display right here. And anyway, the piece continues. The Finder.com's XRP pre, uh, predictions report found that on average, the panelists predicted XRP to end the year at $1.23 and hit $3.54 by the end of 2025. Uh, for Think about that. Think about that. You're, it's 2021 right now, folks. So you're talking about this market cycle, and it gets worse, by the way, what, what, what's cited here. $3.54 by the end of 2020. So you're talking about uh, XRP falling way outside of the top 10, like way, way, way outside. So you're talking about the fact that despite all of this, we've seen XRP move in tandem. You're, you're calling for that relationship to stop. That's what you're calling for. If you're saying only $3.54 four years from now, which would, by the way, be towards the, you know, the mania of the very next cycle, if we continue these four-year cycles, uh, that's, that's what you're saying? That is ridiculous and absurd on its face. Anyway, the piece continues. For context, XRP is currently trading at $1.25 after gaining 1.1% in the past day. At its height in January 2018, it set an all-time high of $3.84, which implies that even in the next three years, the polled experts don't expect the cryptocurrency to retest its all-time high. Folks, pause here again. This is nonsense. It's utter nonsense. And I, I just... I know that people that are new to the space, they would read this stuff and they might think, well, geez, these are people that are well known in crypto. Uh, they're, they're, they're being cited in crypto media. They must know what they're talking about. No, these people are not smarter than you. And in fact, if, if you've been researching XRP, there's a good chance you know already, even if you just started, more than these people. They just are people that are high up and maybe they're ideologically opposed to Ripple and XRP for various stupid reasons, as many Bitcoin maximalists are. And I don't know that they're all Bitcoin maximalists. I suspect that at least some of them are. But uh, but that's what it is. Like that's what's going on here. It's bias seeping out into it, it, right out of their little their little mouth hole. It's just bias seeping out. It doesn't mean anything. A piece continues. The panelists included Saggy Bakshai. I'm sure I'm butchering the name. Not intentional. Saggy 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 Bakshai. I don't know. If I don't freaking know, dude. Uh, this is the CEO of Coin Mama cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, Bakshi, I'll go with Bakshi, I guess, is one of the those who predicts a bleak future for XRP. According to the press release by Finder.com, which the Australian company shared with us, Bakshi predicts that XRP will end the year at $1.50. However, this is as good as it will get for the cryptocurrency, he believes, predicting that by the end of 2025, it will be trading at just 50 cents. His reason is that, quote, there is no need for this coin, and the XRP network can work without it, end quote. <laughs> and so this is so laughable. So think about this. So he's already, he's calling, like, to be clear, as I cited, the, the market moves in tandem because it's in its nascency, and it's not, the market, market speculators, by and large, have not sufficiently figured out which cryptocurrencies deserve to be here, and so everything's being betted on about the same. He's calling for, in the short term, one coin, just one out of over 10,000 cryptocurrencies in existence to no longer move in tandem. That's what he's calling for, and it's a top 10 cryptocurrency, and it's one of the most liquid cryptocurrencies on the planet with multiple use cases. That's what he's calling for. That's nonsense. That is Looney Tunes talk right there. And then he, right, and again, let me read this quote. He said, there is no need for this coin, and the XRP network can work without it. Now, you know what I think he actually meant there is he meant the Ripple network can work without XRP, but he just effectively said that XRP can work without XRP. That's effectively what he said, unless he meant the XRP ledger can work without XRP. And there are things you can do on the XRP ledger without XRP. That would be true, but I don't think that's even what he's saying. I think that he so is not used to talking about this because he hasn't spent more than like five minutes thinking through it that he didn't even know how to use his mouth words to articulate a reasonable sentence. That's what it seems like to me. And so what he's citing right here, the idea that you don't need XRP uh, to, you know, um, for, for Ripple Net to work, which I, I firmly believe is what he's getting at, because this is the argument that's been bandied about for years. Uh, like, understand, I figured out that's not true after being in crypto for all of 12, three months, three months. And so here's, an, here's a blog that I wrote, 
And um, it was, I, I published this on February 9th, 2018. It's titled, Who's Competing with Ripple? And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But again, I had, I had been in crypto and XRP for all of three months at this point. That's it. And I had admittedly intensely researched. And back then it was harder to get facts and it's harder to figure out who to believe. It's a little bit easier to get information nowadays. But even so, I figured out that there's a difference between payments and settlement. And, and this guy just doesn't get it. And so look at what I wrote. And again, this is February. This is me. I haven't been in crypto for three months. I figured this out on my own. Okay. Uh, I figured out there's a difference between payments and settlement. And so here's what I wrote in this blog. I'm just going to read a couple sentences. Oh, and I should mention this too. Um, when I wrote this, again, had only been in crypto for a few months. When I wrote, it's accurate. Um, I would have honed it in a little bit further with the knowledge and experience that I have today. I used the word liquidity um, it, it, as citing it as a problem. And, and it is true. There's, there's insufficient liquidity. And you also have dormant capital locked up in Nostra accounts the world over. So it's true. I was accurate in what I wrote. Uh, but I'd, get, I'd hone it in a little bit more if I were to rewrite this blog today. And instead of liquidity, I'd write settlement. But I did understand it was settlement even back then. I'm just saying I would have worded it differently. And so payments and settlement, those are the two things. But let me read it as I wrote it. Because I, 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 just, and I just want to be clear because I, I certainly understood it back then. But here's what I wrote. Critics like to point out that Ripple solved the payments problem without any need for XRP. This is true, but such a comment is a red flag that the critics in question don't understand the purpose of XRP. The truth is that XRP was never intended to solve a payments problem. It exists to solve a liquidity problem. And so, again, replace liquidity with settlement because like, part of, the, part of, what, <laughs> part of uh, the process of settlement, like part of what makes that possible is liquidity. So that's why I said you can hone it in a little bit further by just talking about settlement. But when you say payments, you're not actually talking about the movement of money. You're talking about a messaging system, right? And and so as far as RippleNet is concerned, I mean, you take away XRP, that's the secret sauce, dude. And like this guy doesn't understand that. If you take away XRP from it, you can't settle in real time, which is the actual movement of money. You'd have to use the traditional uh, means of settlement. You know, like, like, just like happens via Swift. And this guy legitimately does not understand that there's a difference between a messaging system and the actual movement of money. Clueless. And here he is on a panel spouting stuff, and then he gets cited in crypto media. Absolutely impressive display of ignorance here. And it doesn't get any better. Uh, Konstantin Bakio Romanovsky, whose name I probably butchered also, but I don't want to say it, um, also believes the cryptocurrency has a bearish future. The founder and CEO of All Nodes, a hosting and staking platform, predicted XRP at 90 cents by year end and $1.01 by 2025. Well, why just 101? Why not, why not all the way down to zero at that point? Like, what is, they're just pulling numbers right out of their rear side. You guys recognize that, right? They're just right out of thin air. They're pretending like the market's not going to move in tandem any longer. And by the way, as far as XRP the year end, um, I don't know when XRP is going to pump for the final leg up for this, this bull cycle. I personally suspect that that's going to happen. I, I really believe that's going to be the case. Don't know for sure, but I strongly believe that's, that's more likely than not. It could be the case that you could see XRP maybe bumbling around in that range before years out. But eventually, Bitcoin's going to take off. And then I, I personally believe XRP is going to move after it. So even if that happens to be correct it doesn't really matter because that still will show that XRP is moving in tandem as long as ultimately after Bitcoin goes, XRP does as well. Um, and then there's this little subheading, XRP won't survive the SEC, but will return to exchanges. For many of the panelists, the biggest reason they're bearish is the big cloud hanging over XRP's head, the lawsuit by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Many believe that while Ripple may get away with fines, penalties, and restriction, the damage will be done for XRP in the market. <laughs> this is despite Ripple seeming to hold its own in court recent months. So they're saying even if things go fine for Ripple, um, XRP, it's already damaged. Where's the, where are the signs of that? Uh, the worst thing that possibly could have happened has already happened, and XRP just bounced up to almost two bucks in, uh, in April after that, and then it went back down with the rest of the market when the things crashed in May, and now it's back up to over a dollar. Like, where, where are the indications of this? It's like people are projecting outwards with their stupid mouth words what they want to be true. That's what's actually happening, which is why I was saying, you know, three years ago, I recognized this this BS argument that uh, RippleNet, it can, it can function without XRP. You don't need it. Well, RippleNet can, but you can't settle and so in real time without it. 
And it, it's just amazing to me. Like, it took me all of like a few months to figure this out after an intense research. And these guys who are supposed to be at the top of their game, they're supposed to be reputable, well-informed individuals, don't understand. It's like if you're sitting there and your thought process is that, huh, RippleNet, hmm, how about that? Moves money around the planet. But uh, my belief is that uh, regardless of whether or not XRP is used, uh, it operates exactly the same. If that's your actual thought process, might you instead just be a little bit more of a curious person to think, hmm, might there be a piece of information that's really important that I don't yet know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be a reasonable approach? Holy hell, why do you think they have dozens of customers that are utilizing XRP as a bridge currency via on-demand liquidity? Be a little more curious and a little less biased, unless you don't want to engage in reality. If you don't want to engage in reality, you want to live in your little ideological fantasy, fine, you do you. But I don't live like that. I live in Reelsville, that's what I say anyway. Um, and so uh, James Edwards, a cryptocurrency expert at Finder.com, told Crypto News Flash the following. XRP still feels like a gamble at the moment, with investors betting on whether or not Ripple will succeed against the XCC, which is investigating the company for securities fraud based on the way the XRP token is controlled and issued. In my opinion, the use case for XRP has diminished severely with the widespread adoption of stablecoins, and Ripple itself is not dependent on the XRP token to achieve its wider business objectives. Ding, ding, ding. And so there you go. I was in crypto all of three months, and I realized that that's a BS narrative. And here you have these guys. He's, he's touted in this article as an expert. And he says that Ripple is not dependent on the XRP token. Well, let me tell you something. If Ripple doesn't have its secret sauce, which is on-demand liquidity, utilizing XRP as a bridge currency, then it's just another messaging system, and it's it's no no it's not particularly better than Swift at that point, or any other any other fintech that's that's trying to uh, move money around the planet. It no longer has a unique or special position. This guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He doesn't understand the difference between payments, which is messaging, and settlement, which is the movement of money. He doesn't understand dormant capital being stuck. He doesn't understand that people are already buying and selling XRP on exchange, which represents liquidity. It's actually liquidity. You can tap into that to move money around the planet instead of relying on dormant capital in Nostra accounts the world over. He doesn't understand that fundamental concept, and here he is being touted as an expert. Holy freaking hell, what is wrong with the world? <laughs> This is what's going on here. Oh my God! So, so this, this is it, it's, it, it's like, it's, uh, it's why I, the, I, at the video, the video it was just like audible sigh, face palm. <sighs> you know, it's like, like what, what, what else can you do? But just kind of like look at this in stunned amazement of just like the pure ignorance and the clear bias. Um, I mean, I, I actually did Google one of these guys. This. Um, What's his name? Saggy Bakshi. Um, I, I looked that guy up, and there's an article about him. He seemed to like to be Bitcoin Maxi extreme. Uh, maybe the word extreme is, is a little bit too much, but there was an article where he was just talking about like Bitcoin's the end all be all. And he, what do you know? Here, here he clearly is demonstrating that he is a, a, sev like a severe lack of knowledge of uh, how Ripple's positioning XRP to be a bridge currency. He's unaware of other use cases and why other people find it useful in their daily lives. Uh, completely uninterested in all of this and ignoring what's actually happening in the market, which is XRP's moving in tandem uh, with the rest of the crypto sphere. That's reality. That's what's actually happening here. But there we are. So this is why we cannot have nice things. Do a little research, folks, before forming opinions, all right? I'm speaking to the, uh, the, the, the experts here cited in this article now. My gosh. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, wrap up there. But I am placing this uh, this in the wood chipper as soon as I finish recording. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.